Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. Well, in this segment, friends, let's go back to the twilight of the Roman Empire, where in 379 AD, Theodosius I became emperor of the Eastern Empire. Divided for the first time under Diocletian in 285, the empire had been in decline and was now facing threats on all sides. But more than the forces on the outside, the classical Roman Empire was being overtaken by a force more powerful than any political system in the ancient world, Christianity. Let's explore the triumph of Christianity in ancient Rome under the Emperor Theodosius. Now, historians usually recognize Theodosius' predecessor Constantine the Great as the first, quote, Christian emperor of Rome. But under Constantine in the early 4th century, Christianity was merely legalized. So basically, Christians no longer needed to fear being burned at the stake or being fed to the lions for their faith. Theodosius, however, took the next step. He declared Christianity to be the official unquestioned state religion of the empire in 381. His jurisdiction only extended to the Eastern Empire at this time, which made up most of Greece, parts of Turkey, and sections of the Lower Near East. But in 392, he gained control of the Western Empire as well and reunited, at least for the time, the East and West. Rome's absolute rule over the known world briefly resumed. And as such, Christianity, which was already gaining steam in the last few decades, began to spread at a far more rapid pace all throughout the empire. The Christian religion reached the deserts of the Near East, the Baltic region around the Black Sea, the North African coast, and the furthest reaches of Britain in the West. As for Theodosius, he died in 395, and less than a century later, the empire, at least in the west, died with him at the hands of the Visigoths in 476, when they dethroned the last western emperor, Romulus Augustulus. But as Rome fell and medieval Europe began to take shape, Christianity grew in strength and would soon become the defining cultural and societal force in the former Roman world. Thanks so much for joining me once again for A Moment in History.